Hey guys, it's Take a Bite here with a quick tutorial on how to update your Simu games. Without further ado, let's get started. First things first, you're going to need a Lodine file of the game you want to update, uWizard, Simu, the Wii U common key binary, and any extractor, such as 7 -Sip. I'll have links and information on where to get all of this in the description below. Once you have that, we can start the actual process of updating your game. For the sake of this tutorial, I have all the files I need for this in one folder, but in reality, you can have all these files wherever you want. So to start off, you're going to have to extract the uwizard.zip folder and just extract it into a new folder. After that, take the ckey.bin and you want to copy it and you want to put it into the uwizard folder. After that, open up uwizard and then hit OK. Go to NUS Downloader U and then pick the game you want, in my case that's Mario Kart 8. Select it, check decrypt contents, and hit start download. Now this is going to take a little while, and for the sake of the tutorial I'll skip to when it's done. Once this finishes, a new window will pop up showing the downloaded contents. For now, just minimize that window and we'll come back to it in a minute. Keep in mind, if you close it by accident, the folder can be found inside where you extracted uwizard in the subfolders of a folder named nus underscore content. At this point, you can close out nus downloader u, and you want to open up the folder where your Lodine game is stored. For, in my case, it's right here, Mario Kart 8. So I'm going to open that, and then you want to look for the files named code, content, and meta. Now, go back to that folder that you just minimized, and you want to find the folders here that are named code, content, and meta. You want to select these, copy them, and then come back here and you want to paste them into the original Lodine file. You want to make sure to replace the files in this destination. After that, you're pretty much done. All that's left to do is transfer your save files. To transfer your save files to the new version of the game, you want to go into the CMU folder, go to MLC01, emulator save, and then you'll see all of these folders with random names that have no meaning. What you want to do is find the folder of the game that you are trying to transfer the save of, and in my case, I know that Mario Kart 8 is 9708A1D3. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to find these two files, userdata.dat, and then this up here. So I'm going to select both of these, copy them, then I'm going to come back here to emulator save, I'm going to look for user data dot dat. As you can see, there's two different files, and I'm going to go to the one that was modified most recently. So I'm going to right click, open file location, and as you can see, this is the new folder for the updated game. Now, if this isn't showing up for you, what you want to do is run the updated game once through Simu, and then this folder will appear for you just won't have the same name though if you're not doing Mario Kart 8. After that, you can delete the file that's in it, and you want to paste in the new files. After that, you're good to go. The saves will be there, you'll have the updated game, and it will be fine to run in Simu once you run the Lodine file. As you can now see in the bottom left corner, there is now a version indicator for version 4.0, as opposed to the original version that had no version indicator at all. When you load into the game, you can also now see that there's a shop tab and an amiibo tab. When going to single player, you can also see that all the DLC characters are now available. However, in this version of Simu, there is no way to actually load the DLC. It remains locked, and when you select a character, it just brings you to the shop page. However, it is now possible to play 200cc tracks as long as you be all 150cc tracks on gold. Now, the DLC availability will depend on the game you're trying to update, but for the most part, if you have to buy the game DLC, it's not going to work in this version of Simu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and leave a like or hit that other button to show what you thought, and maybe consider subscribing. Also, if you guys have any problems getting this to work, leave a comment below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. That's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!